like to show you how we can install a new TetraFlex base station within 30 minutes. From unpacking the TetraFlex base station, mounting it in the mast, afterwards mounting the control box, and sitting on the cable. All cable. We will establish a single node system first of all, and later on we will connect this single node system to become a member of a multi node system. We will show you how this will be done automatically without any interference from the operator's side. And at last we will try to establish a group and a new subscriber. First of all, I would like to present the, the support team of DAM. It's a uh, support engineer, Asker Hartner. He's very experienced in IP. He's also very experienced in TensorFlex. And when you get into touch with uh, the DAM support team, he will be one of the members sitting in Denmark. The second, on my left hand side, is John Rosenberg. He is also a support engineer. He is very much aware of our TensorFlex system, know everything about it, and especially he knows a lot of our dispatcher system. So when you come back later on, you can ask him for what you need to know concerning dispatcher. Please, no, no, no. Then myself, I'm, I'm just filming. No, 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 no. So you will come or get into touch with me if you have some problems with equipment in installation phase or repairing phase. As all dumb equipment runs on pure IP, then we have established a network here in Budapest. We are using a two-node system running right now in real operation. First, Node, that is a BS411, it's actually here yeah, in Budapest, this base station is an 800 megahertz base station, 25 watts, it has 8 carriers and is in operation. The second base station is standing behind here, it's our outdoor base station, it's a 400 megahertz base station, it has one carrier and it has an output power of 20, 10 watts. Be aware that we are using only pure IP technology at DAM. This means that we are not using central switches or central nodes. We do not have a, point, a single point of failure because all of our software, all the subscribers, they are in a register in every base station, in every node. That means that if you, for example, make a network with 999 nodes, for example, 150,000 subscribers, then all information will be stored in every base station, wherever you have a node. That also means that if one base station fall out due to a cable cut, for example, the other base stations will continue to operate with all Tetra features, but the one base station that is left out, it is also operating with all Tetra features. Of course, you cannot communicate due to the, due to the cut, but all the Tetra features will still be kept. Now we are going to install a new node. Actually, we have prepared here for the new node. It is so if you order a new extension to your network or a brand new node from DAM, we will configure it with the most, uh, uh, the, with, with almost all parameters for you. It could be uh, network code, it could be country code, and it could also be the IP addresses that you want them to contain. Of course, if you do not know which IP address you have, then you can, in a simple way, configure them yourself when you get the system uh, uh, in, your, in your office. I think we should just unpack the Tetraflex base station as you will receive it 
from down. It's very easy. It only weighs nine kilograms. So you can climb the mast. Take up your back, climb the mast, mount it on the bracket that also is delivered from down. Connect the cables in the mast and be aware you need not to have 230 or 100 volts in the top of the mast. You only need to have 48 volts that will come from the service box. So 9 kilograms, 1 carrier. If we look at more specific uh, specifications on the base station, it has a maximum output of 10 watts. But be aware that you are mounting this in the top of the mast, so you do not have any cable loss. Meaning that you have the full 10 watts output power in the mast. You can see our sensitivity is rather high. We are operating, if you want to, with a dual receiver diversity when you use the two antennas. First of all, the low power consumption. Meaning that one base station, as this one, have a consumption of 75 watts. If you are putting up two carriers besides each other, we will not turn the second carrier on at once, only if it is needed. Meaning that if you are using time slot number three, then we turn the second carrier on. So you are normally running, depend on the on the load of the system, of course, normally running with 75 watts uh, in power consumption. Of course, we are IP65 encapsulated. We have a tetra, fully tetra compliance. Uh, all necessary uh, certification also. The Dan company itself is also 9001 certified and of course we have the IOP certification from the Tetra Association meaning that you can use all radios from different vendors uh, on our system. We do not only say take this vendor, this vendor or this vendor, we, we uh, use the vendor that you can use the vendor that you feel most for. Now let's unpack the control unit service box 421. You can place this service box in a shelter outside or indoor. It could be put on the mast. Most important is that it need not to be be saved, it need not to have anything above uh, the case, it can stand or it can be mounted outside, also with an IP65 encapsulation. Just connect the cables from the mast and put on the uh, 110 110 volt or 220 volt. Be aware that this control unit it is what you call what we call a tetra switching and management infrastructure, also called a SWIMI. It has all tetra features already in. Dan is working with a distributed system of a SWIMI, meaning that I will say it again: we have no central switch. That is very important. We have all information saved and registered on every node everywhere. The control box has battery inside. It can handle a two hours of operation without any power coming from outside. If you have a power failure, it can run without uh, any external power at least two hours. In every system we also have also our, our subscribers as well as our groups and so on. <laughs> now I would like to go into a bit more details concerning the two node system that is operating here already. 
Cyprus. If we have a look at the base station here, we made them in two different cabinets. This one is a four-carrier base station, indoor base station. It has 10 watts as output power, 10 watts on the antenna. We have this one. This is can be delivered as 10 watts, as 25 watts. <laughs> High power base station. It can be delivered as 8 carriers, as 60 carriers system. Of course, you can also just put in one carrier in it, but maximum 16 carriers. When we make 16 carriers out of it, then we place two of these cabinets beside each other and you have a full 16 carrier system if needed. The small base station, out, outdoor base station, I just explained it earlier, still 75 watts um, and mostly you can use it for outdoor purposes. But if you go on our stand you can also see we have made some built-in applications where we put in two base stations and a service box in one cabinet, specially used for military or field, uh, field use. So you can actually do with this base station what you find appropriate.